It's so amazing to come here with the crowd and everyone from overseas. It's just brilliant, really good. One, two, hello, hello, everybody. I love bikes. The Lycra is very in at this event. It's incredible, a once in a lifetime opportunity. Seeing the pros on the road is something else. The UCI rainbow jersey is that top honor. There's nothing like it. Tracy Hannah, we are in my home country of Australia. I don't know anything about road cycling, but we're about to find out here at the World Championships. Did you come here because you like the World Championships? Yes. Do you cycle yourself? Looks like a big race going on. This Who's winning? Me. I won! I reached the 500 fast. Do you reckon you could compete with some of those fellas out there racing the race later today? Oh, maybe. Hi. Hi. Where are you from? Denmark. Denmark, and you've come all this way to watch the Road World Championship. Yes, yes. That's amazing. So does that mean that we'll see you next year in Scotland? Yeah, you do. Oh, wow. Well, good luck to Denmark ten, today. Ten years, so last ten years, every time. I was going to ask you about the swooping magpies. Do you know anything about the them? The swooping magpies are everywhere in Australia. And the seagulls were attacking someone earlier. <laughs> Here you'll see the French team passing. It's nice because they can warm up on course. They don't have to battle with the traffic or other riders or anything. Oh my goodness, first of all, happy 18th birthday. You're officially an adult in Australia. You took the gold. What did that mean to you today? That meant so much, doing the double-double gold, if that makes sense, um, with the time trial on the road race last year. Yeah, it was a very emotional race for me, the last lap, um, the last kilometre, especially coming in from the Flamme Rouge. Um, and then crossing the line, I was just in floods of tears, as you've seen from pictures, so. And how many world championships, how many rainbow jerseys is this for you now? Uh, this is my fifth. <laughs> what a weird and wonderful place. Lots and lots of lycra around, which I... It depends if you can pull it off or not, I suppose. Let's so go see what they're selling. More lycra, I imagine. Looking for one of the cute little hats. <laughs> you know, the little under the... Under the helmet caps. Lycra is very in at this event today. Looking at one of the race bikes of the weekend, this is lightweight, fast, red is fast. Just check that thing out. I'll tell you a little bit about it. You've got your gears here. You've got your cantilever brakes down here, a bell. What else have we got? It's a beautiful bike you're running. It really goes hard, it goes fast. It does what I need it to. You know. Yeah. Ooh. It's even got like these fancy pedals. I mean, you do you still clip in with those? Unfortunately not. I, I like to get a foot down in the corners, drift around. It's good fun. So as you can see, Wollongong is so beautiful and such a nice place to come for a road cycling world championship. We've been meeting up with lots of Australians, very friendly people, as you can see. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. <laughs> do you guys all ride? Um, yeah. yeah. I ride. I don't ride I cycling, ride. I ride mountain bikes. Ah. Uh, two, ten in Italian. Go on. Uno, due, tre, quattro, cinque, sei, sette, otto, nove, dieci. The little one's pretty clumsy, so he's always in a full face helmet, so we thought we'd wear him too, and it's easier to ride in town than to drive, so we come for a ride to come see what it's all about. <laughs> What's your favourite kind of cycling? Oh, me too. We're heading into the behind the scenes of the Road World Championships and this is the commentary booth where they're commentating for the whole race. Let's try to sneak in and see what's going on. This is Randy. One, two, one, two. Hello, hello, everybody. This is where we're calling the races live on the PA at the UCI 2022 Road World Championships. 
be pretty much the same setup we hope for Scotland 2023. Uh, our role consists evidently in informing the crowd that's really at the finish line area, also at the start line, uh, what's going on, who's taking part in this race and uh, what they can expect here. Well, the rainbow jersey is, it, it's the supreme award. You know, you, you can go out and win the Olympic Games. It has a lot of meaning. Uh, you can win the World Tour, the World Cup, depending on what cycling sport you're, you're participating in. But to win the UCI rainbow jersey is that top honor. There's nothing like it. It's the World Cup of football for a lot of these athletes. It's that one moment in their life, maybe for some more than one moment, uh, that really consecrates all those days, weeks, months, years of sacrifice and of work. And uh, it's a big moment in a career. Randy's just told us all about it. The women are entering the city circuit and they're battling it out for that rainbow jersey. It's all on the line. The atmosphere was insane here in Australia. Like I had all my home, like family and friends here, but it's extra special because like this kit, it's just new. So it, it, it's special to me because I've got an indigenous background. So I think it made the championships special because I had this on me wearing it with pride. <laughs> we all fought so hard, all of us Aussie girls. So Australia put on the show with the course and the riders. So hopefully I'll see you guys in Glasgow next year. Road cycling is a test of your mental capacity. It is the fastest rider to the finish line, but that means working as a team, battling the elements and getting to this line as fast as you possibly can. The women's race today is 167 kilometers long with almost 2,500 meters of climbing. This is a tough race. They're putting it all on the line for that gold medal to wear that rainbow jersey at the end. Are you looking forward to a, a home country race next year when, when all the disciplines come together for a big world championships in Glasgow, Scotland? Yeah, it's going to be really good. I think um, Glasgow ho holds a lot of hidden gems, let's say. So I think it's going to be um, some pretty, pretty savage courses. Uh, I'm kind of hoping the time trial is going to suit me to some extent. But yeah, I mean, it's going to be a home race. The crowds are going to be awesome. Everything's going to be awesome. And I can't wait to, to hopefully be selected. <laughs> It's fantastic to be here in Wollongong this past week to see the Road World Championships come to life here. It's been a terrific number of days of racing. We're here today at the Elite Women's Race in the under 23s this morning. You can hear the riders going past there now and it's, it's really good to see this event come to life and what we'll be expecting to see in Glasgow and across Scotland in 2023. I love your flight. Are you excited oh for God. the finish? Yes, we are. Oh. Yeah, the Cuba. In road racing, the fight is always on in the last kilometre. So you can be leading for the whole race, but the real fight finish is as they're coming down that last straight. It was an exciting race. Absolutely. Just really good in the finish there. I'm to, to catch them like just within that last kilometre was amazing. Brilliant. So good and so amazing to come here with the crowd and everyone from overseas. It's just brilliant. Really good. I love bikes. I'm a big fan of the Tour de France, so now I'm here getting amongst it, enjoying. <laughs> I mean bikes and disco. How did you find the World Champs race today? Oh, that was high energy. Like I was right on the on the on the finish line there. That was lots of lots of fun. So yeah. Are you gonna head to Scotland next year? <laughs> oh yes. Okay, let's do that. Yeah, that sounds great. I'll take this with me. Yeah. <laughs> What a day here in Wollongong at the Road Cycling World Championships. We will see you all next year in Glasgow and across Scotland. Yes, you are.